Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel once again. Nice to have you as always. So a couple of vids ago, we did a tutorial whereby we created from scratch an entire one page website using block theming. And in that particular one page website, there was a little gallery section, but we didn't use the gallery block because the default gallery block in WordPress is a bit pants primarily because it doesn't have a light box pop-up feature, i.e., you know, you click on one of the gallery images and it pops a, a, into a light box and you can scroll through it and that's what a gallery kind of is to me. Quite why we don't have that in WordPress as default is slightly beyond me, but to the rescue comes an epic little plugin, courtesy of Johannes, Johannes Kinast. Thank you very much for this for picking up the slack where WordPress gallery block falls down. Your plugin is amazing and it couldn't be more simpler to use. It's literally plug and play. There's no settings, there's no configuration. You don't have a separate post type to create galleries and all that sort of jazz. We just need a light box and this does it beautifully. So let me present to you the awesome light box for gallery plugin. Right, watch this. Here's our Norman site, which we created from scratch as a block theme just a few short days ago. And here's our here's our gallery here. Well, it's not gallery, it's just images at the moment because gallery is pretty rubbish block as aforementioned. But anyway, let's sort that out. Let's get back to our dashboard. We're gonna to go to plugins. I've already sort of installed this simple plugin lightbox for gallery and image block let's just have a look at the details johannes thank you very much for this you're an absolute ledge there's not really much to it apart from it it just works and you don't have to do anything it's extraordinary it's actually well I, I won't say it again it is what the gallery block should be doing from the get-go it's bang up to date it's responsive it's got swiping on mobile let's activate it and let's get stuck in straight away right let's get back to our pages and let us get our home page open so let's go find our gallery down here somewhere well there's a bunch of columns and images as it happens but let's uh, delete those right click delete right click that row of columns delete those and instead in our group here we're going to add a gallery just the default block gallery go to our media library let's go get our original set of images one two three four five six create new gallery that's looking cool insert now the one thing with gallery blocks is that and this is why i use the image block originally is that for some reason we can't put aspect ratio. We can crop stuff, you know, we can say, yes, crop image to fit, but that's kind of it. And, you know, we can say thumbnail, but it's still out of the box. It doesn't do the aspect ratio. We've got it on images. Let's get it on the gallery. Anyway, let's update that and let's go to the front end and let's refresh our page, hard refresh. Let's go back and you see how it's all a bit higgledy piggledy, but let's have a look, see what we got. Oh, one second, gallery link to media file update that rewind back in the front end and right oh we actually have a light box a light box galleria and if we go into responsive we've got a little iphone 11 here we can click on our gallery and look yeah you can swipey swipe i mean you might want to sort of make the buttons a little bit smaller and stuff like that with a bit of CSS, but happy days. Let's come out of responsive and look. Let's sort out this um, aspect ratio. I mean, they do crop, so they do kind of fit within the space, if you catch my drift. But if you remember our old gallery made out of images, they were aspect ratio squared one. So we can sort that out. If we just open up our inspector here, now we have got to identify this gallery to give to add a class to it let's go and do that on our gallery let's go to advanced open that up and we'll have a class of norman gallery let's bear that in mind copy that save that let's go back to our front end let's refresh that and let's find our norman gallery it's there it is and now if we scroll down let's make that a little bit bigger if we scroll down we see there's the images within and of course there's six of them but we have our Norman Gallery class here. So let's add a new rule. We'll use our class and we'll say 
Norman Gallery and then all the images underneath Norman Gallery and we'll go aspect ratio one you get me very simple stuff let's copy that rule I've got the theme opened in the code editor here so let's go style.css is from the last vid and let's put in our comment gallery aspect ratio cool paste that in save back to our front end let's get rid of the inspector hard refresh scrolling down there's our square images and there's our lovely awesome gallery thank you johannes thank you indeed plenty of little workarounds and tweaks required if you block theming if you want another one there's one right here for you but until next time i shall see you later